Welcome to my cello studio. I am Jeff Krieger, and this is a video about metronome practice. The metronome is the most important tool of the musician. It engages the quiet part of the brain used for special activities, for example, the measuring of approximate distances by our eyes. The metronome is the tool that helps us decide a tempo and whether our playing is steady. It helps to coordinate all of the technical and musical elements of cello playing into beautiful music. You can pause this video at any time to have a closer look at the tools that are mentioned or to practice a suggested strategy. The links to the tools are in the text below this video. I like to compare musicians to athletes. In sports, there is often a count-off before a race. If you jump the gun, it is a false start and the race has to start over. You can think of the metronome in the same way. It is important to get a precise start by hitting the first beat right on target and also meeting exactly on the second beat. In preparation, listen to at least two measures before playing, giving your brain a chance to measure the distance between the beats. Then, on the second measure, count out loud with the metronome. This will help you to synchronize with the beat. You may need to check yourself by making a recording. Practice this until perfect. After you have practiced that, really challenge yourself to hear some of the subdivisions from the excerpt you are about to play during the second measure count off. As a strategy for more precision, Practice as if you were accompanying the metronome, quietly playing your piece without dynamics, so you can clearly hear if you are staying with the beat. Certain measures may need more drilling under tempo. The goal is to keep tempo throughout. Add some variety to your practice by playing your pieces at various tempos, beginning under tempo. What do you notice? Each tempo will slightly change the character of the piece. Remember to choose a metronome setting that is the right character for the piece. In other words, a minuet should be at a graceful 3-4 tempo, not a fast tempo like an allegro. To help choose the correct tempo for the piece, Listen to six performances, noting the tempo for each on the metronome. Find the average of the six performances, and that should be a very good indicator for the correct tempo. Sometimes when we listen to performances, we try too soon to play at performance tempo. If you are trying to reach a particular performance tempo, do it in a gradual, step-by-step -step way. Realize that everything will be faster. Notes, shifts, string crossings, and physical adjustments will have to be made. Good luck with your metronome practice. The metronome will continue to do a lot for your playing, as well as make your practice more challenging and fun. You will also find fun projects to try in the text below this video after the tool links. So this is the end of the video on metronome practice. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to watch the other videos in this collection and come back often to listen again and check your progress.